Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. Who's your boy? I told you yesterday, PSL probably back at Starbucks tomorrow. And tomorrow has arrived. Tomorrow is today. And it is back at Starbucks. The pumpkin spice latte is back. Big, big reactions online. For example, under the post, crying. I've been waiting all year for this. (laughs) Uh... Uh, the way this is the only thing getting me through this week. And then the little jack-o'-lantern emoji. So people, you know, have a lot invested in the pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, they do. A lot, a, a lot of their lives hinge upon. Crying. I've been yeah. waiting for this all year? Man, did it's you tough really, out there. Did you really wake up and cry over the pumpkin spice latte being back? I think so. I think maybe. Ace, I think people are that weak-minded now. They have that. They have nothing going on in their lives that hey, are that you? are more important than that. It would, it would be an excited cry, though, right? Like, oh, oh my yeah. god, I'm so happy for this! I can't wait. I'm a puppy. Yeah. That's it's a little exactly better, like a relief cry too. Maybe like, yeah, I, I needed uh, something, some good news. Like I just got to sit down and cry. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey do what you got to do but to again, hang on, man. I say, if it means that much to you, why do you not make it yourself all year round? Is it difficult to make? No. Okay. No. No. No, they create the hype by making it a limited time thing. Mm-hmm. And, oh, they're geniuses at it. I yeah, mean, the marketing Star- part good of for it. Starbucks. I but mean, I, I'm not knocking them. I'm just saying if you are literally that into it and, it and it means that much to you that you would be crying over it with the excitement of it, just have it all year round. You can do it at yeah, home. Yeah, do it. Well, here's a woman that says, just prepare for pumpkin spice to become my whole personality tomorrow. That's what she posted <laughs> last night. <laughs> I am pumpkin spice <laughs> reincarnated. So I guess the point here is people are really excited about the pumpkin spice latte. Mm. It's back today at Starbucks. Uh, today is National Tooth Fairy Day. And for the first time in years, the average price of the tooth has gone down. The average price now sits at $5.84, down from $6.23. That's a 6% decline. For a first tooth, the average price also dropped from seven twenty nine to seven oh nine, so I think that's a worrying trend. The fact that for the first time in years the price is going down, I think that's probably a key indicator of something. Well, it's a key indicator that the the economy is yeah, bad. It's inflation. That people are struggling. I, I would I would imagine that is what it says. Dollar. For the tooth fairy to be able to sell those teeth and make a profit off of it, mm-hmm. she's got to pay less. You know, she goes and and yeah, she flips she, them. Yeah, I always I thought that's that. what she did. I never she knew sold that. them, or made made jewelry out of them and stuff, and I sold don't know them. What she did with them, just like every other woman on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. just going. To <laughs> the tooth fairy is no different. Yeah. All I ever got out of it was a dollar. I think that was probably my experience. A dollar. The going rate was a dollar. Yeah, never changed, but I think it was probably a dollar. So happy National Tooth Fairy Day! And those are just a few things that are now trending. Um, it wasn't, but a few months ago, I believe, might have been less time than that, that TJ said, what if somebody's final wish is something you don't want to do? Well, that has happened. An actor in France has made a final request of his children, and they have stood up thankfully and, thankfully and said, <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> we're not doing that. Wait till you hear his request next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Available when you want it, 
how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Yeah, when you want it, how you want it. You can download it every single day. All the great stuff that we do every day. Whether it's the Ace and TJ show, Extra Funny podcast, uh, TJ's Fanaticos podcast, Ace and Friends, Spotify, Apple Music, the Ace and TJ app. It doesn't matter. You can get it anywhere and everywhere. So like and subscribe. Um, I don't remember the context of the conversation, but when I ran across this uh, article this morning, I thought, we just talked about that. And then I realized it might have been a little bit longer than I thought. But it was a while back, TJ was talking. Somehow we got on the topic of um, when somebody makes a last request of you. Like, in my will, I request that you do this. And everybody's like, well, you got to do it. And TJ pointed out, no, you don't. What if it's something horrible that they want you to do? (laughs) Like, well, who would do that? Well, there's a French actor. His name is Elon Delon. Or something like that. A L A I N D E L O N. Alon Delon. No, that sounds Alon right. Delon. I don't know. Uh, have you seen this story yet, TJ? Uh-uh. Okay. So he has died. And his family, he is 98, 88 years old, I'm sorry. And his family has decided to deny his final request for them to euthanize his dog and bury him alongside of him <laughs> in the casket. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. His kids were like, uh, "No, we're yeah. not killing the dog." <laughs> and the dog's healthy. Otherwise, yeah, the dog's just, totally uh, fine. Yeah. Um, the French actor had clearly expressed his wish to have his beloved Belgian Shepherd Lubo buried alongside him when he passed. Hmm. He disclosed uh, his request has been disclosed. He said, "I've had fifty dogs in my life, but I have a very special relationship. If I die before him, I'll ask the vet to take us away together. He'll put him to sleep in my arms." Oh, jeez! And the kids have said, "Yeah, we're not going to kill the healthy dog just so we can bury him with you." So they're not—they're going to decline his final request. And the, I guess there were some uh, also animal welfare groups uh, that spoke out and said, sure, "Like, hey, surely you're not going to do this." And the kids are like, "No, of uh, course we're not going to kill the dog." That's, yeah, be but terrible. thanks for checking in. Yeah. Idiots. <laughs> but what kind of a person decides, hey, I love this dog so much when I die, I'm going to want you to euthanize it. Come with me. Yeah, I think people are that crazy more Absolutely. than you would think. His desire was to have the dog euthanized. In, like, yeah. he's dead. The, the, put the dog in his arms and euthanize him. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like, that is messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a uh, that w- that would be a good movie. What's like that? a TV movie or something? Mm-hmm. Will they do what, it? Will the they people, not do it? Yeah, that's crazy. They used to bury bury pharaohs with like cats and stuff, their pets. Mm-hmm. But I've never heard it happening anytime after yeah. the pyramids. Right. Were <laughs> <laughs> that's been a few yeah. years, a few thousand years. They thought that was an okay thing to do. Um, oh, and there's bad news today for Tech D Rob. <laughs> if his relationship with Meredith ever 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 fails and he's back out of the dating world, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wishing that on him. I'm just saying, like, coming up next. The Ace and TJ Show. Available 24 7 on the Ace and TJ Family app or wherever you download podcasts. Hey, we're here with Richard Takato, our friend from the Richard Takato Companies, and this is great. It is great. The interest rates are coming down and probably time for you to refinance. Oh, it's absolutely the time to refinance. <laughs> Do it now. Call 704-800-4719. Save hundreds of dollars a month. Yeah, if you've just bought a house in the past couple of years, you've got a chance to save hundreds of dollars right now. Hundreds of dollars a month, I mean. Yeah, absolutely. It's hard to believe. 704-800-4719. One free five-minute phone call does it. Or just check out homewithrichard.com. Richard Dakota Companies, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Tech D. Rob and his girlfriend Meredith have been together now almost 10 years. Coming up on 10 years. I think 10 years January. And it's been somewhat controversial discussions on this show when it comes to uh, Rob's decision to not get engaged yet. And it's all because of the dog situation at their home. And he has steadfastly stood by and said he is not getting engaged until that second dog is gone. End of story. And he stands by that. And every time it comes up, we seem to get messages from people that say, you know, she's getting out of that relationship, whatever. You know, whatever. Bye. Think what you think. (laughs) All right. I was was trying to soft pedal that for you a little bit, Rob. But I saw this yesterday, and it's a survey 
least attractive hobbies for men, according to women. Oh, no. And they're given an unattractiveness score. Mm. Number one, scoring at 90 on the unattractiveness scale is playing video games. Um, it just finished five points ahead of collecting figurines. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what which, guy collects figurines. Which he does. And in third place, with a score of 80, least attractive hobbies for men, magic tricks. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> but you got to hear the rest of the list, though. Uh, number four was online trolling. If your hobby is that just, a hob? Is your, your hobby is yeah, just being an online troll, that scored pretty well. Uh, gambling, the first yeah. cool thing that showed up on the list yeah. is at number five, uh, followed by building model trains, scored a 65. <laughs> Uh, least attractive hobbies for men, taxidermy scored a sixty. Is taxidermy? What that's his living? Well, this is a hobby. This just yeah, says as a hobby. I, I don't know anybody that does it as a hobby. I don't either. Uh, the guts, and she's like, now, but that's <laughs> over toy trains. I think toy trains are way more embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> Check out my Polar Express. <laughs> it should be like a ninety nine point nine. <laughs> You never you? seen that? You, you, sometimes you go and a, and a guy's in the model train. Yeah, my grandpa like, was in his into garage. They had yeah, the whole yeah, city. Yeah. I think those things are cool. But if you're like under eighty five, I think women are I, a twenty five year old building model trains is different than your grandfather having mm -hmm. one that goes around the Christmas tree. Okay. Yeah, there's only one thing stopping uh, uh, my friend, handsome husband Michael, from being a train guy and having model trains and stuff like huh. that. Uh, little friend Jenny. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. She said no. He, yeah. I can just. He loves trains. He, really? He, yeah. He would like to have a train room and build them and all that stuff. Yeah, I just I totally see why women don't <laughs> love that. Um, and then finally, uh, the the final two: comic book collecting and bird watching uh, were the bottom were the bottom two on the list. But yeah, uh -huh. playing video games number one least attractive hobby for men by far. Mm. By far, it's a ninety on the score. Ninety out of a hundred. So, just ahead uh, again, or just ahead of collecting figurines. So they would rather be with a what is called a birder, <laughs> yeah, than a video game player. Yeah. They would much rather be with a birder or a taxidermist. <laughs> <laughs> it's a northern cardinal. <laughs> oh, oh, are you a birder? <laughs> <laughs> That's a warble over there. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, once again, we're here with our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies, and this is the time for you to get some money from the equity in your home, right, Rich? It is, and you can do it instantly. Instantly. Let's say, you know, if you've decided that I'm going to pay off credit card debts, or we're going to build that wonderful backyard kitchen that we've always wanted, or go on vacation, it's instant. You can apply today and get your money in five days. It's that simple. Ace. And if you haven't decided, decide because you can do it right now and save yourself a lot of money. HomeWithRichard.com has all the details. HomeWithRichard.com. Richard Cotto Companies, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. You want to save yourself some money right now? Uh, Richard Takato and the Richard Takato Companies. Whether it's a home equity line of credit or refi with rates dropping, there are some great opportunities to save yourself sometimes thousands of dollars a month. We got a member of the radio family. She just saved $1,500 a month consolidating some bills and everything. Homewithrichard.com is the way to do it. It's homewithrichard.com. Uh, there are a couple of small things that are, that are out today. Number one, the Olympics may be over, but we're still cheering for the USA, baby. USA, USA, USA drops the most swear words online than any other country, any other English-speaking country. <laughs> we cuss in tweets more than anyone else. And it says uh, they, they examined like uh, 2 million tweets. The U.S. swears in 4.2% of posts. You say, well, that doesn't sound like a lot. Well, it's 40% more than second place, the U.K., Mm -hmm. Followed by Australia. Uh, the most foul-mouthed state, I did not expect this, Maryland. Yeah. 
Maryland yeah. has the most uh, foul-mouthed tweets, followed by our Louisiana. home state of Louisiana. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Maryland, yeah. Louisiana, Georgia, and Virginia were the top four when it comes to cussing in their tweets. Yeah, and I think in, <laughs> when they broke it down into yeah. cities, Baton Rouge was number two. Really? Yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Baltimore is number one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Baton Rouge is number two. Baltimore, Baton Rouge, Atlanta. I didn't read that far through. There. Oh, that guy, Hurricane Chris, that rapper yeah. that was all upset with Fifty Cent. He put out a video. He was so upset. He cussed more than anybody I've ever heard cuss in thirty seconds. I mean, yeah. it's remarkable. Like, were there and more he, cuss words than than decent words oh, in there? Oh, I yeah. think five to one. Yeah. I mean, it was crazy. And uh, he was mad because Fifty Cent did a show in Shreveport and didn't get any Louisiana rappers legends like him to be part of it so that's why he was cussing about it but if somebody is on uh social media or they're in mixed company and they're cussing it just means they weren't raised right yeah i'm not a big fan of because people do it all the time now they just Mm -hmm. they get online they think it's cool to be cussing and all that it just means you're not raised right well it is kind of cool (laughs) (laughs) i like the cussing i like cussing (laughs) Well, um, just make sure, Rob, anything that goes out today. I, I had a couple of, uh, I had a rough morning. Ooh, here. boy, did you ever. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Yeah, but that's different than putting the camera on yourself and posting it on social media. That's true. Cussing all through that's it. That's true. Yeah. I've even yeah. declined to do uh, some TikTok stuff. Like, I mean, we can't put that. That's got cuss words on it. You yeah. can't put that out. Yeah. I may overthink that So she that wants a to bit. do the cuss? Uh, there's some things she's like, this is this is like a hot sound right now. And I'm like, yeah. ah. It says the F word in it. I don't know. Maybe. So you're saying she wasn't raised right? I'm not saying that. Ooh, not what I'm saying at all. That's exactly what you're saying. I'm just saying it's a, it's yeah. a generational divide. I believe Someone text her. Oh. What is acceptable or not acceptable? You know, because you don't think of it as cussing if somebody else is saying it on social media. If there's like a dance that goes with it, you mm-hmm. don't think of that. And I hear the F word and go, I don't yeah. want to be in. I don't want to do that. Yeah, don't put that out there. You know. Oh my gosh. Ugh. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> <laughs> It's just terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. Riggins and now trading to go to next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, we're here with Richard Takato, our friend from the Richard Takato Companies, and this is great. It is great. The interest rates are coming down and probably time for you to refinance. Oh, it's absolutely the time to refinance. <laughs> Do it now. Call 704-800-4719. Save hundreds of dollars a month. Yeah, if you've just bought a house in the past couple of years, you've got a chance to save hundreds of dollars right now. Hundreds of dollars a month, I mean. Yeah, absolutely. It's hard to believe. 704 704- 800-4719. One free five-minute phone call does it. Or just check out homewithrichard.com. Richard Dakota Companies, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Hey. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. <laughs> If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. I think it's the first time I've ever been able to announce Ashanti as part of Now Trending. She just had a baby with Nelly, and uh, they named the baby Kareem Kincaid Haynes. He was born on July 18th, and they've nicknamed him KK. Mm. So, mm. so Ashanti was pregnant with Nelly's baby when he was just arrested for having ecstasy on him a couple weeks ago. Why do you got to oh. put a, a damper on the the wonderful? I'm just saying that's a, that's a, that's gonna you know strain a pregnancy right there. You got to worry about that. <laughs> Well, th- she had the baby on July 18th, oh, so we'd have okay. to crunch the numbers on the dates. But it was around that time. Yeah, it was very Whether close. it's happened a couple days before or a couple days after. Not a fun time I to think be arrested. It, I think the ecstasy mm-hmm. charge came after July 18th. Okay. Wow. Not, yeah, either out, way, not good. He was out celebrating. Yeah, amazing. He's like, I'm at home with this baby, and you're out doing ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Coming down hard on Nelly today. Is he still living <laughs> in St. Louis, do you think? I think so. Really? Yeah, I would imagine. It's his home. Loves I wonder it. if he still has that home on the lake that was featured in Cribs. Every time I hear somebody now from that from that day, mm-hmm. I always wonder, do they still have that house they showed on Cribs? It was on a river. He had a house on a river. <laughs> I don't remember the Nelly one. Was it a cool house? Um, it was all right. They never really. It wasn't it. as spectacular as you would have expected, but he had just hit, so he didn't yeah. have he didn't have Nelly money yet. Yeah, <laughs> but he had a nice place, a nice long uh, a nice long walk down the backyard on a big hill mm-hmm. that went down to the river. Boat dock. Yeah, my wife saw a uh, quote unquote the baby. Uh, in the grocery store the other day. Really? Yeah. She said, she <laughs> say, looks around here. 
I got to be honest. She wasn't quite sure that that was him, um, even though he backed into a handicapped parking spot in a white Rolls Royce and um, said he was a little fella. And he looked like one, he looked, she said, he looked like some that I had seen him before. And, and she knows that he lives around there. So <laughs> there aren't many white Rolls Royces backing into a handicapped parking spot at the grocery store on a Saturday morning. No, I can't imagine. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, uh, yeah, that's, that's the baby. It could be him. Uh, could be. Not the baby. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> uh, yesterday we told you the pumpkin spice latte coming back soon. It is out today. Uh, so you can go get your hands on a pumpkin spice latte, hot, iced, or frappuccino version. The frappuccino version comes in at around 510 calories. It's so not, you know, not nothing for a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but they've also got raccoon pops, really cute, an apple crisp oatmeal macchiato, and a iced apple crisp oatmeal shaken espresso, if you're interested in something like that to kick fall off. <laughs> also, the great pumpkin cream cheese muffins. Got to try those out. Uh, and then one story about Ben Affleck and uh, Jennifer Lopez. It was revealed that he engraved not going anywhere on the inside of her engagement ring as sort of a play on like, I know this didn't work out the first time, but this time I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> and uh, as we learned this week, their marriage yeah. lasted two years and uh, he he was going somewhere. Yeah, and she's, like, he's, she's like, you're you're not the one that makes that decision. <laughs> If I want you to go somewhere, you're going to go somewhere. You are actually going somewhere. So uh, those are just a few things that are now trending. A lot of people get mad whenever they get a wedding invitation, and the wedding invitation says, sorry, no kids. And um, we have a story um, that is the reason. It, it points out the reason why so many people say, no kids at my wedding. You're going to have to pick a side here, and either way, it's going to be passionate. Coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help. Because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. You go download all the podcasts. Spotify, uh, Apple, whatever you got. The Ace TJ family app is also awesome. So download it, subscribe, do it all. Um, a lot of people get mad whenever they find out they can't take their little uh, children to a wedding. And then, you know, it's been going on for years. And I think uh, uh, the majority of people do say, well, it's their decision and they may not want kids running around and this, that, and the other. This is an adult affair and they don't, they don't want children there and that's for, for them to decide. If you don't like it, don't go. Well, two best friends... Uh, one of the friends is already married and has a four-year-old child. And the bride-to-be was planning the wedding, which is her best friend. And she said, I don't want to have kids at the wedding. The, the mom, her best friend, talked her into having kids at the wedding. She said, it'll be fine. There'll be a lot of them. No problem. Um, and so the, the bride said, okay. We can have kids there. So this woman has taken to the Reddit, and I don't think she heard what she wanted to hear So, because she took down her post after she asked the question. Really? Uh, am I wrong for not apologizing? Because she said that uh, there were a lot of kids there, and she knew everybody at the wedding, <clears throat> and she was letting her four-year-old go play with all the other kids. And she said, my husband and I were enjoying some time having fun dancing together. Well, next thing you know, her four-year-old has gone over to the wedding cake and grabbed a big chunk out of it, 
tore up the wedding cake in, in one area <laughs> yeah. and got it all over his face everywhere, just eating like crazy before they could get to him. And the, and the mom admits, yeah, I, I didn't get to him very quickly because we were preoccupied. My husband and I were having fun dancing. She made a mistake. Right. Well, the bride goes nuts, starts yelling at her, says, uh, your kid ruined my, my wedding, <laughs> you know, all of this other stuff. <laughs> the kid did not and ruin the wedding. And then she yells back at the bride. They get into an argument, and then ultimately the bride says, get your kid, and you get out of here. If you don't leave right now, I'm calling security. Oh, my God. Bit of an overreaction. Um, yeah, this is her best friend. However, the people on the uh, on the Reddit said uh, most of them said you you should have been the one apologizing at the time. She overreacted a little bit, but you can't just leave a four year old at a formal event like that and a, and a bunch of people and expect that that he's just going to sit around and not do not get into anything. True. So you should have been watching him better. That's true. But. If that had happened at my wedding, I, I think my okay. wife would have just been laughing. She said, oh, it's fine. It would have been but funny. Then, but then later said, oh, my God, I knew that kid was going to ruin our wedding. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't make a scene and then yeah. you threaten to call security. You call you, the law on your best friend. Years later, you look back on that and laugh about yeah, it. Yeah, big deal. When the kid's in jail one day, you know, yeah. like, I knew it back then. <laughs> huh? This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, once again, we're here with our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies, and this is the time for you to get some money from the equity in your home, right, Rich? It is, and you can do it instantly. instantly. Let's say, you know, if you've decided that I'm going to pay off credit card debts, or we're going to build that wonderful backyard kitchen that we've always wanted, or go on vacation, it's instant. You can apply today and get your money in five days. It's that simple. Ace. And if you haven't decided, decide because you can do it right now and save yourself a lot of money. HomeWithRichard.com has all the details. HomeWithRichard.com. Richard Cotter Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. You know on that show Hoarders, if you've ever seen that, which... I've, I used to watch it when it first came on, and then it's like, okay, well, we've seen we see one thing, episode, yeah. we've seen all of them, kind of like, um, kind of like on that storage wars, you know, sure. where, they, where they they bid on the people's storage lockers and stuff. Um, but this one, you would see those shows, and you think you see these crews coming in, and they're getting out all the you know tearing down stuff and all that. Well, there's a woman that they featured in the uh, in the New York Post who. Uh, works in the UK and she does the maid service for uh, abandoned houses of hoarders and stuff. Oh, well, sometimes they're not even abandoned. They're just like we 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 got the hoarder out yeah. of here, my aunt or whatever, and she's in the hospital and all that. Uh, she averages like nine thousand dollars per house. Oh, I can only all of the work that she's having to do. <clears throat> Nine grand a house. She loves it. Her name's Libby Denny. Isn't that cute? Libby, Libby, Libby Denny. Denny. It has to take days to do. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes weeks, she said. Oh. And um, she said, I've cleaned around 2,000 houses since I started. Um, I've had to clean. Now, listen, this is what doesn't make sense to me. She said, I've had to clean a mattress where a man was dead on there for three months. When there has been a body, that smell can be awful okay why would you want to try to salvage right. a mattress that somebody has been had died on three months ago and, and has been laid? Yeah. what are, are, i know mattresses are kind of pricey yeah but <laughs> if you can afford to pay nine grand for this lady to come clean your house can't you throw in an extra you know eight to thousand eight to a thousand dollars to get a good mattress yeah, come on after would, somebody had passed on it and let's say you have that mattress in your home would you feel compelled mm. to have to share that little tidbit of information with someone? Oh. Like I'm if, just I, saying, if I, I need a new mattress, yeah. clean that. 
But if I visited your bed. house, TJ, and you said, uh, spare, everything's in there in the spare bedroom. It's all fixed up for you. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> it's clean uh, now, but a guy died on that mattress and the body laid there for three months. But would it ever be clean enough? Yeah, I no, don't think I mean, so. Dawn dish yeah, detergent is no. not going to take that <laughs> stain out. Yeah, I don't I mean, think it would be. Can't, you can't clean that mattress. OxyClean ain't going to work on that stain. Yeah. Just, but the British, you know, they're oh God, they're different. We'll yeah. save it for another yeah. day. We can always use another mattress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's covered in blood and ooze. Uh, so what? We're cleaning. <laughs> yeah. We're we'll getting a nice spit shine. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> covered in ooze. Uh, yeah. yeah. I oh, I yeah. bet. Yeah. Oh, you can't imagine. Mm -hmm. Leakage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're not going to throw that away, are you? Uh, Waste yeah. not all, all, I always say. <laughs> flip it over. <laughs> there you go. Just flip it. Yeah. It'll be fine. Flip it. Flip it. Goodness. Um, she said that one time there were adult diapers all over the place that had been uh, soiled, and oh. then she went on to tell what they had been soiled with. Well, uh, duh. Yeah, thanks. We don't need that. Hold on. And Maybe she said that the toilet was leaking every time it got flushed as well, so... Oh. I mean, she is cleaning disgusting, nasty things. But throw away the mattress. <laughs> That's got to be one of the I'm worst decisions short. ever. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, we're here with Richard Takato, our friend from the Richard Takato Companies, and this is great. It is great. The interest rates are coming down and probably time for you to refinance. Oh, it's absolutely the time to refinance. <laughs> Do it now. Call 704-800-4719. Save hundreds of dollars a month. Yeah, if you've just bought a house in the past couple of years, you've got a chance to save hundreds of dollars right now. Hundreds of dollars a month, I mean. Yeah, absolutely. It's hard to believe. 704-800-4719. One free five-minute phone call does it. Or just check out homewithrichard.com. Richard Cottle Companies, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Hey. Each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. We call it playing the piano as um, as code whenever we are talking about um, adult interactions. If you know what I mean. We don't want we don't want the children to know what we're talking about. We've done that for years, and um, people go, "Where where did you come up with that?" and um, it's because um, there it was a euphemism. Um, sometimes in the old days, they would say that they they were in there tickling the ivories, which means playing the piano, literally. But sometimes they would use it to describe, mm. you know, um, coupling. You know, so they put out a list people's um, suggestions of family friendly phrases to describe coupling and uh so if you need you know ways to to talk about it or either either uh, something to tell the your kids that you're doing you know so they don't bother you <laughs> um going to take a nap helping each other with our taxes that's a good one um having an adult meeting that's not so good yeah that sounds yeah dirty sharing quality time moving furniture and i could see how that would be a good one i like moving furniture yeah, That's we're, true. we're gonna we're gonna be in here moving furniture so it may get loud you might hear some some things hitting the wall <laughs> <laughs> the ceiling may start to you know crumble a little you never know the heavy heavy uh, my <laughs> easy words. Going over insurance papers. That's a good one. Yeah, playing hopscotch. Well, first of all, I think you'd mm -hmm. have to when you have to describe to a child what hopscotch yeah. is. Yeah. And how are you gonna play hopscotch? And Inside. I mean, if they do know what the rules of hopscotch. Yeah. Is but I guess if you're just telling, you don't want to say it in, in public or whatever. You say, "Yeah, so we were in there playing hopscotch, if you know what I mean." <laughs> but then again, um, if you know what I mean, added to the end of it makes it, makes it you know, it, it kind of gives it away. Yeah. 
if you know what I mean. I don't think, uh, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't think you can use the word playing with anything uh, in that scenario. Yeah, kids like I want to go yeah, I play. play. <laughs> Going to fold laundry. Good one. Doing some cardio. Good one. Um. Doing a little team building exercise. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we got we was in there doing a little uh, uh, team building exercise. If you know what I mean. <laughs> These all sound yeah. worse than just saying. I know. Yeah, some of them do sound worse. Yeah. We're doing some team building. We're enjoying each other's company. Yeah. You know, biblically. <laughs> <laughs> These are awful. I hate all these. <laughs> no, it's very cringy. Uh, loading the dishwasher in the bedroom. Yeah. You going to load any the sense. dishwasher? Uh, oh, here's a good one. Um, and somebody got in a time machine for this one and went back to the 90s. Knocking boots. <laughs> we were in there knocking boots. <laughs> what? Huh? Listening to some prints is another one. And, no, that's um, not bad. Wow. Mm. say knocking boots. Knocking boots. Uh, uh. <laughs> knocking boots. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good? Or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good? Or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate. And years of research. We've decided great furniture. Is good fitting. And good sitting. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just $279. In stock and ready to rock only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day, leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking. To Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. If it's trending, it's here now. Now, now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. Yeah, it's not a rumor. It's back. The pumpkin spice latte is back at Starbucks uh, starting today. So you can go get your fix on um, the pumpkin spice latte. And they've got like the raccoon cake pop. They've got iced milk, oh, apple crisp. Espresso shaken foam whipped cream. They got all your fall favorites back. Do you get the pumpkin spice latte? I'm I'm good for one a year. That's what I thought you've said before. One a year. I'm good, and then I get it out of my city because it is good. It's really good. It's like very the, good. I don't like theirs. I like uh, Duncan's better. Okay, I don't. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's out yet, but I think it, uh, probably soon. Um, yeah, I'm good for a year, and then I get it out of my system. I'm like, all right, fall in check. Uh, it's, it's thick though. It's like it can really be a little thick, thick and it's uh, it's it's sweet. Uh, which is not my thing at Starbucks, but it's good. It is good. Um, so that's back today. Uh, more stories coming out about Jennifer uh, Lopez, Ben Affleck. She filed for divorce on their second wedding anniversary. And they say, you know, he was spotted out with Jennifer Garner, his ex-wife that he shares kids with. So that family seems to be, while they're not married, intact. Uh, but it looks like Ben Affleck wants nothing to do with J-Lo and she wants nothing to do with him. That's the way it appears from the outside. And we learned that he engraved her engagement ring with, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> and it turns out he is, in fact, <laughs> going somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So they've got this house they share together. It's like a $60 million mansion. They're dropping the price uh, pretty quickly. They want to get that thing off their hands. Yeah. Uh, so it's tough. Mm-hmm. They're going through it. If you don't have kids, just n- no need to speak. Just walk away. Be done. Yeah, but they both sh- brought their fan- their kids into this house with them. So they did kind of blend the family in that short uh, time. That, yeah, that's but true. it doesn't matter. But you don't your, think so? Yeah, your kids don't, don't need to have anything to do with the other one until they're grown. Yeah. Let me ask you something. So Violet, the he, daughter he shares with Jennifer Garner, was spotted out wearing one of J-Lo's dresses. Kind of a, I mean, if they're supposed to just break it off. kind of. Wait, you mean it, one that J-Lo had given her or, or from her fashion no, line? No, f- the one that J-Lo had actually worn. <clears throat> oh, okay. If I'm Jennifer Garner... Now, are you feeling a little weird about that? Like no, my no. daughter with Ben. No, I think now Jennifer wearing... Garner's like, hey, this is a family. This is their father. It's important that, that she be able to mix these in again. And thought it was probably yeah. and that's the tip of the hat to Jennifer Garner. Well, for... let me tell you this. I know one thing for a fact that they all have in common, all three of these people. They're weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Garner's just as weird as any of the rest of them. 
And, you know, she may be nice. She's just a different kind of weird, but she is weird. They're not like normal people. Can't add anything to that. That's what's now trending. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So it's no secret that uh, I like poking fun at Ace and Tech D Rob for their uh, cooking skills or lack thereof. Yeah. It's fun. And, and I don't mean anything by it, but they've never had to learn how to cook. TJ had to learn how to cook because his. Uh, your mom would tell you fend for yourselves because she wasn't yeah. cooking for something. Right. So he had to learn. That's why he knows how to cook now. I don't know how to cook because I was never asked to learn. And my mom took care of everything. Now I can manage for, I live sing. I'm a single person. So I figured out how to do a couple of things. I can make a couple of things in the oven, but my cooking skills not up to snuff, but you see things on the internet that will instantly let you know, Oh, that person can't cook. And for me, when I saw a person taking a rotisserie chicken and using a, a corded hand mixer to shred the chicken <laughs> in a bowl, I went, this person can't cook. I'm sorry. Like a yeah. hand mixer, like used for cakes. I know. That's one of the things. Instead of just did. like pulling the chicken apart or mm. however else you would do it, I just can't. I thought this person can't cook. <laughs> so wait, they take the chicken off the, they take the rotisserie chicken off the bone or whatever, and then put it in the thing and then or, mix it up. Yeah. Which seems or like way more work. Or they'll just have, uh, they'll put it in a crock pot, chicken breasts in a crock pot and cook it until it gets yeah, you know, yeah. tender. And then they take the hand mixer and. I'm like, oh my uh, gosh, what is going on? And like I don't a know a more thing. effort than it's worth. No, I think so. so. And, you know, I love picking on Rob and his hot dog toaster. He's got this, he buys these one recipe contraptions like a hot dog toaster it's got the slots in it you put the bun in and you put the hot dog in there you press the lever down <laughs> for hot dogs and i always thought that was funny and then a couple weeks ago he bought this macaroni and cheese cooker for the microwave the it makes the pasta the pasta pasta <laughs> <laughs> you get pasta and pasta his <laughs> boiling water as tj pointed out is just a lot of work everybody knows that <laughs> so he bought this thing i like picking on him about that kind of stuff but what is something that you see either on social media or in real life that instantly lets you know oh this person cannot cook it's a little mean it's a little petty <laughs> but this is a safe space here at the ace tj show if you've got a great one we'll get them next the Ace and TJ Show, available 24-7 on the Ace and TJ Family app or wherever you download podcasts. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to Bradham Brothers. Available when you want it. How you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. What's the one thing you see in real life or on social media that instantly lets you know this person can't cook at all? What is it for you? You see a lot of them on social media. Um, one that I see is when they put the entire container into the into the the, the, the packaging into the container that they're going to be mixing up the stuff. Like they'll have cans of of um, baked beans sitting in the pan oh. while they put the onions and all of this stuff around it. Ugh. And then they take the can, the lids off the, the cans out of the thing and the beans fall out. And, or when they'll take something and put it all around a container and then mix it up and you go, well, why didn't you just mix it all up at the same time and pour it in there hmm, and all that. But that's one of those trends where they put the packaging so you know, okay, well, they're going to add Velveeta to this because there's a Velveeta box <laughs> sitting in the middle of the pan. <laughs> a but, dusty box that's been sitting on the grocery yeah, store shelf. Right. Ugh. But I'm a little more judgmental with that stuff because when I see somebody take a paper towel and soak up grease out of a pan yeah. instead of 
draining it off, that tells me that they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Everything. So what is it for you? <laughs> At the Ace TJ Show, the one thing you see that instantly lets you know somebody can't cook. There's a lot of these. Tony said when they show up with Bojangle chicken, Bojangle's chicken uh, in their personal Tupperware, that lets me know they can't cook. I don't get that one. <laughs> um, there's a lot of these. Uh, when they bring fruit salad inside of a Jello mold shaped like a ring to a potluck, I thought that was the only way Jellos were, I love were brought. <laughs> I know. Uh, Megan said using frozen hamburger patties. Come on, make a real burger. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, Pamela the- has a good one. Always turning the stove to high. <laughs> everything's on high. Said, everything's on high. That's indicating her. You really don't know how to cook. Crank it or, up. That's true. Or not heating a pan before you put food in it. Oh yeah, and that's a big one too. What do you mean? You, know, you, before you, you know, you people call it preheat, but you can't preheat something. You can't heat it before you heat it. But when you when you just take a cold pan and then crack eggs in it and then turn the fire on or whatever, most of the time that's because they don't. Oh know yeah, what I don't do doing. that. You got to heat the pan. <clears throat> I don't do that. I definitely don't do that. <laughs> I just learned I don't do that. There's one thing I don't. Know. If I'm making eggs, I heat the little fire into the pan first, get it warmed up. You did? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, you made eggs. Not, oh, yeah. I'm not a savage. Or when somebody checks to see if the pan's hot enough to put food in it yet, is that by spitting in it? Oh, my God. <laughs> it, <laughs> it spit bubbles up. Oh, I've got something sizzles. disturbing for TJ next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, once again, we're here with our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies, and this is the time for you to get some money from the equity in your home. Right, Rich? It is, and you can do it instantly. instantly. Let's say, you know, if you've decided that I'm going to pay off credit card debts, or we're going to build that wonderful backyard kitchen that we've always wanted, or go on vacation, it's instant. You can apply today and get your money in five days. It's that simple. Ace. And if you haven't decided, decide because you can do it right now and save yourself a lot of money. HomeWithRichard.com has all the details. HomeWithRichard.com. Richard Cotter Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number three eight six five two. Each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Here's what you need to know. The Ace and TJ Golf Tournament 2024 happens on Monday, November 11th. And you can be a part of it, whether you want to play or you just want to be a sponsor. All you got to do is head over to acetj.com slash golf. Volunteer opportunities up there as well. acetj.com slash golf. November 11th, North Stone Country Club great course and it's going to be a really fun day all to benefit our charity Peyton's promise acetj.com slash golf uh, I've talked about my dog having some uh, digestive issues when he was younger but I found this food and uh, it's worked really well for him I don't have to go to the vet all the time like every three weeks like I used to take him and uh, it's great and I was really appreciative that I found this food um, but I also want to switch things up now he's been on it for two years I, I don't know that the vet recommends that they say, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. But I want to fix it. I can't imagine eating the same thing every single day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I was just going to try to switch up the flavor for them. They offer a vegetarian recipe. Dog food. Vegetarian. It doesn't <laughs> seem to make a lot of sense. It's all they tell you is wolves. Yeah. Dogs are wolves. They need meat. They have a vegetarian recipe of this brand that I buy. So I'm just looking at it. I'm inspecting it. I, I can't imagine. I can't see myself buying this stuff. Then I read the reviews for this food. This dog has changed my <laughs> life and my dog's life. I'm so happy that my dog is no longer on a, wait for it, corpse-based diet. <laughs> corpse-based. <laughs> that is a new level of... Uh, uh, Virtue signaling that I have not experienced. Corpse based mm. diet. Corpse based. Because that's in, you know, uh, who was it from the Wu Tang? Riza, I think he said. You know, you're just, when you eat a cow, you're eating that disease, the stress of the animal, the anxiety that that cow goes through before you uh, slaughter it. So why would you want to eat something dead? Why would I want to put something dead in my live body? And now this person has <laughs> succinctly <laughs> described it as corpse based uh, diets. Well, I will be using that. Yeah, sure. I mean, not. you talk about uh, dramatic. <laughs> Whoa. It's, it's another level of drama, <laughs> isn't it? Can you handle the drama of a corpse based diet? Oh, I don't think you can. No. So, mm-hmm. yeah, take that with you throughout the day. Tell everybody you're currently on a corpse based diet. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show.
Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today.